guys um i hope you can hear me okay i'm trying not to talk too loud because my daughter is right in the other room sleeping but we're just gonna do a um collective haul this is all like stuff from that i've bought during this quarantine basically stuff that i've been collecting since march when they first issued the stay at home order so yeah it's quite a lot of stuff so this is probably gonna be a long haul and i've actually decided to omit some like more boring things so this is like all the cool stuff so i'm just gonna get right into it um oh also this is in no particular order because um i can't remember <laughs> what order i bought a lot of this stuff in in so some of this stuff is like brand new some of the stuff i've been using and is not pretty anymore and it's not packaged anymore so yeah i'm just gonna get right into it so this is a palette that i got from studio of mm it's a one of her little travel palettes that she um uh what is it called like laser print or she prints it herself oops and so well she prints the plastic insert and the part that holds the paints and in here I just have um, some of my Academy Grumbacher paints and Winsor Newton Cotman paints so she him she printed this little insert is it called laser printing so I can't remember <laughs> um, and it's only 10 bucks so yeah I really like this little palette I use it a lot of times when I'm just like in bed sketching and she also these are ten dollars for just a plain black but she also hand pours the lids so she has some really nice like um pour art decorations for on her travel palettes and those go for 18. so this travel wa strathmore watercolor travel journal i bought at walmart like last week and it actually comes with a blue strap but yeah it has a, a blue strap and i have no idea where it is but it basically keeps it closed because it, it doesn't like stay closed by itself but i took it off because i keep it like in my little travel book with my other notebooks so i just slide it in and once i close it it stays closed anyway so i don't keep the strap on it but it's very useful if you're like somebody that's gonna um oops it's very useful like if you're somebody that's gonna um like throw this in your purse and go on about your day or throw it in your backpack and go on about your day so this is something this is an artist loft it now they when you buy them from michael's they have their logo on the front but i peeled it off anyways it was on sale something had wasted on it it's originally 19.99 it was on sale for i think it's either $6.99 or $7.99 I cannot remember um, but yeah it had the artist loft logo on it from Michaels but I completely peeled it off and just put a little sticker so these are their 12 set watercolors and this is a little travel brush that comes with it um, the brush is okay I wouldn't use it for detail because it doesn't come to a point and it sheds a lot but um, I have used it for like larger washes in my sketchbook these paints however are not great and I know this is not an artist loft review so I'm not gonna go like too in depth and I might do a separate review later I don't even know if it's worth it but um, these are not not good paints at all. I thought they would have maybe been comparable to like Windsor Newton Cotman or Academy Grumbaker because they are so expensive and by expensive I mean like They're like Crayola quality, but they charge you like Windsor Newton Cotman quality uh, prices, so I mean yeah, I only bought it because it was on sale, but I would not buy this full price and I would not want any of you guys to buy it full price so there's that I haven't really used it other than in my sketchbook to play around um, so here these two things kind of like go together so these are okay I bought two sets I bought the core high chroma 
six set and the court earth six set so i have them both in here um i think in this set the high chroma watercolors came in here but all i have in here is half pans right now so i'm gonna just stick that off to the side but so yeah six tubes came in that one six tubes came in this one um so the high chroma set was the had the dioxazine purple the transparent pyro orange the green gold um i think it was quinacridone magenta cobalt teal and one more was this one quinacridone gold and so i bought this little palette from walmart because it had 12 only 12 rows i mean 12 you know it had 12 wells and so these six or the are the high chroma and these six are the earth set so in the earth set we have naples yellow is this naples yellow yeah in the earth set we have naples yellow this is indigo right here i don't know if you can see this guys um venetian red i really like that venetian red because if you mix it with um here that's quinacridone gold cobalt too magenta. if you mix this venetian red with just a dot of magenta quinacridone magenta it makes a very bright pretty red and that's something that I felt like this set was miss missing but knowing that I can just mix it if I need to um, really makes this feel like a complete set together um, transparent brown oxide I think that's this one right here um, sap green and raw umber so that's all the colors in the high chroma set and the earth set and what I do with these is I spritz them every couple days just to make sure they stay kind of malleable because that's how these core paints keep their brightness I got this Strathmore watercolor travel pad 12 sheets 6 by 8 I think it was it was either nine dollars and forty cents or, oh, I'm sorry, I did not explain to you. I did not give you prices on these. So, this, both core high chroma six sets, or six set high chroma was 25, like 47, and the earth set was like 25, 10, $25.10. So, and then this palette was around $11. So, yeah. Okay, so this watercolor travel pad was i believe either nine dollars and forty cents or ten dollars and forty cents for six sheets and i believe this is the 500 series so yeah i really like the texture on these i can't wait to use them um yeah and i think that these are the only two sizes these come in they might make one size larger and this is the eight by 10. And I honestly don't remember the price for this one. It wasn't that much more though. I think it was around $11 or $12. And when I bought these, I actually thought that they were um, blocks, but I got them and realized that I ordered the pads. So I don't like how it came damaged, but that's not, not damaged, but like dented on the end. That's not Strathmore's fault. That's just how Amazon shipped these. And then I also got this Paul Rubens notebook. So the Paul Rubens book, I believe was around 20 bucks and it only has 20 sheets in here. So um, it's a little pricey, but I bought this to use as like my swatch book and not so much like a, um, and not so much like a like sketchbook but it is a sketchbook and the sheets are perforated so you can uh, rip them out if you wanted to um, because it's such a weird size I think it was like five and a half by 
seven and a half I probably would not be like ripping them out or creating finished pieces in them but I think it would work great as a swatch book to keep a record of all of my palettes my watercolor palettes at least so and here we have this Paul Rubens um, paintbrush and I believe this was a size one so I already have some larger mop brushes but this one is smaller I don't own any smaller mop brushes especially like squirrel hair, hair or I think this is squirrel hair or quill or is that even the same thing I don't know anyways <laughs> It is a size one, yeah, and it's also pink, and it came in this really nice box, so I can really appreciate that. I'm actually going to put this over there with my other paintbrushes. I actually really like, um, I really like that brush. Okay, real quick so I can get this off of my desk and out of the way. Um, these are just, so I ordered three. Oh, no well one pack of canvases off of Arteza these are Arteza canvases um, and or sorry canvas panels and this they're in a uh, size 9 by 12 I ordered a pack of 14 oh my god I can't get them out um, yeah these are really nice quality canvas panels nothing too special but you know good enough to get the job done and then I ordered a pack of these 8 by 10 boards not ordered sorry I didn't order them I um, got them from Michaels these 8 by 10 wood panels I really love to paint and gouache on wood panels and then I ordered so the sorry <laughs> I'm all over the place the 8 by 10 came in a pack of five I believe the 9 by 2 oh my god it's a book on it ew Ew, it's a bug. Oh, it's a bug. Oh my god, it looks so nasty. I killed it. I killed it. Okay. The 9 by 12 came in a pack of four. <laughs> and the um, 11 by 14 came in a pack of three. So. Ugh. Okay. Now we're coming down to the last few things. Um, I got this set of Paul Rubens watercolors and these were, I'm sorry, this came in it, but I had it out. So these are the, um, iridescent watercolors and now on Amazon, it said phosphorescent. I don't know what that means, but, um, I think they meant iridescent. So, um, I hope you can see the light. I mean like how it reflects the light but these are really nice colors and I use these in conjunction with um, gouache on wood so it came wrapped up in this little chamois and it has a logo on there it's a really nice cloth um, and then here is the box really pretty it has a logo here again and then here are the paints each of these paints came individually wrapped in a sticker so I just peeled them off um, and I like dipped into these especially this blue and this pink and this purple a lot and um, they're actually I don't think opaque is the word but they have a good color payoff to be iridescent paints um, not cheap at all now I think this set was like $25 I want to say the only thing I don't like about this, if I'm being quite honest, is that they have the logo in the palette. And if this if this was like a palette that I was doing a lot of mixing, like, you know, just regular colors and not iridescent colors, that would really annoy me, I think. But um, for what it is and the purpose that it serves me, it's not that big of a deal. So yeah, cute little palette. It's pink, so that's always a plus. 
and the swatchy is cotton paper so that was a nice little touch as well now from jerry's artorama i got these two double flower um these two double flower palettes which i use one for gouache which well this one is the one i use for acrylic gouache got this from jerry's and um yeah they're only like five bucks i believe or four dollars and some cents um and this is the one i use for acrylics i've really been enjoying these and they are not a stay wet palette but if you close them up and keep them in a drawer while you're not using them it can um lengthen the shelf life of gouache for about a 24 hour period and by shelf life i just mean like you can leave your uh, your acrylic gouache or regular gouache out in this palette like overnight or until the next day and the gouache will stay moist to where you can reuse it again the next day it won't be as creamy but it will still be moist um acry the acrylics on the other hand um i haven't used this in a few days and this green and this red is already i mean it's still very um wet and usable and I think it's been like four or five days since I painted something with this palette. Okay. This, um, oops, somebody is calling me. Um, so this box is something I actually bought recently too to house all my gouache, my acrylic gouache at least. And um, I got this from Michaels for like three or four bucks. But I got a set, a 35 set of Turner acrylic gouache. So it was, was it 35? Yeah. I think it was a 35 set or 24 set. Um, if I can remember to, I'll put a picture or, and I'll try to remember to put all the links down below. But I got quite a few of these 11 milliliter tubes. It wasn't a 35 set it was a 24 set for 35 bucks okay there we go but um yeah 11 millimeter tubes and it was good for me to have like an actual <sighs> selection isn't the word but like a a wider selection of colors so I can try them out and really get used to the medium because I've had like these whole buying gouaches for a while and a couple of these um, larger Turner tubes that are like 20 mils or let me see if I can find one in here like yeah I've had a couple of these larger um, what are these I want to say they're 20 milliliters or 25 milliliters I can't find it right now but I recently have really been into gouache, so I wanted to order a larger set so I could experiment with more colors. Um, so this Carmine I've used in several paintings and also this ultramarine impression. And um, I still have some left, so it lasts for a while. So yeah, if you're looking for a good set to like kind of dabble into acrylic gouache because I know a lot of people use traditional gouache, which I like traditional gouache, but I tend to gravitate towards acrylic gouache more. So the Turner, it's on Amazon, the Turner um, 24 set. 11 millimeters I'll link it down below is a great entry introductory set okay now we only have two more things in this haul no three sorry so please bear with me no four actually <laughs> okay this is the Hemi set I saw everybody on YouTube and Instagram I mean yeah YouTube and Instagram using these and doing hauls of these and i had to get it i just had to so now this hemi gouache is more of like traditional gouache and it comes with a white palette but my daughter actually knocked this off the table and all the paints flew out um 
and I had to clean it up and the white palette broke so I threw it away but it does come with a white palette but I've just been doing like this and mixing in the lid it comes with three of these brushes as well a size can I see this I don't see the sizes oh size 4 round brush size 6 flat brush and a size 8 filbert brush so it came with these four brushes and then prior to buying these this set I only had watercolor brushes that I didn't really want to not ruin but kind of taint with a bunch of gouache and heavier paints because I wanted to preserve the quality of my nicer watercolor brushes so I bought this set of brushes from he Ooh. from the same brand Hemi um it's a five set so they give you a size four round a size six filbert a size five flat a size five eight filbert I mean what <laughs> a size eight filbert and a size 10 filbert i'm sorry guys like i get tired i get really tired of talking after a while i'm sorry if you can tell because i think it's pretty obvious but i don't know <laughs> um a lot some of these paints the colors got um like mixed into each other when they fell so like this one has a lot of this color in it um, this one has a lot of the green in it. This pink has had so much green in it that I had to just mix it in. Um, this yellow has a few other different colors in it. But I try to clean it up as much as possible. It's a nice set though. I think this is another introductory, um, a great introductory set. Um, and they also have the 20, no, this is the 24 set. They also have, I believe the... 12 set or 18 set the smaller set um i think either one of those would be a great introductory set if you were wanting to try out gouache now this is more like traditional gouache it is a different texture from maybe like a winter and newton traditional gouache or designer gouache but um i have no complaints about these they're really great for getting your feet wet and um even though they're more like student grade quality, they are really nice to learn with. I wouldn't suggest trying to learn how to use gouache with like, say, Reeves. And it also does have a color chart on the bottom. I can't flip it over because the paints are obviously open, but it does have a color chart under the bottom. Okay. Now, the next thing I want to show you before I get into the package that just arrived is this porcelain palette from Jerry's Artarama. And um, it did arrive cracked under the bottom, but I emailed Jerry's Artarama and they gave me a, ref a full refund. So um, I basically got it for free. Um, but yeah. So I've been using this for um, my Winter Newton designer gouache, but I might clean out this palette because I'm finding that I don't reach for designer gouache often. I'm not really a huge fan of it. I like acrylic gouache a lot better. So I might empty this out and use this for my core watercolors. Not sure yet though, but it's a really nice palette. It's porcelain and it just, lives up here on my desk and it's a cute little thing to look at <laughs> okay guys the last thing i got i'm super excited um i'm just gonna try to open this and a half what does that mean 
That's 24 and a half. Interesting. Okay. Guys, I'm so excited. Let me open this. I'm sorry if this video quality is not like the best. Um, okay. And a camera because I am going to be completely honest. I film from my phone. Okay. So this is the Sennelier La Petite Acrael Fine Student Watercolors. I heard so many great things about this set um, from Lindsay the Frugal Crafter and a few other um, YouTubers and they said that this was a great set even better than Windsor and Newton Cotman and that it was very comparable to their um, professional line so I had to try it okay first thing that I'm noticing right off the bat is that these feel very nice like the box, I mean, the box feels very nice, even though it's a plastic, um, like tin kind of, it doesn't, I don't know, it just, it's very sturdy. It has a lot of mixing space. I wonder if you can fit a half pen in here. Now this is a size six Raphael brush, which looks very different <laughs> compared to the brush that's on here but this is a size 6 Raphael brush I've never had a Raphael brush before so I mean I'll try it out so yeah this is it I may or may not do a review later I don't know I'm not sure I can't promise that but I'm excited to play with these and try them out and see what I come up with but, yeah, guys, that is it for this haul. That's everything that I have been getting besides, like, a few other little boring things like tape and stuff that I didn't really feel was necessary to include in the haul. Um, if you would like to see more videos from me, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and I will be back. Thank you. Bye, guys.